In this tutorial, we're going to examine the View Toolbar. We're going to start by opening a part document. I'm going to undock the View Toolbar. I can use mouse button number 2, click on the part, and pan the part. I can do the same function by activating the pan on the view toolbar and using mouse button number one. The next function is fit all in. The next function is rotate. Let's activate it. And we can use mouse button number one. When I click mouse button number one, we can see the rotation sphere. We can also move the mouse left and right, up and down. This allows me to rotate the part in 3D space. The same thing I can also do by holding down mouse buttons 1 and 2 and rotating the part. If I click on mouse button number 2 on this vertex here, you see that Katia repositions the part. If I rotate now, Katia will rotate the part around that vertex. Now, if I click on this vertex, Katia will reposition the part again. And you see I'm rotating the part here, and it rotates around this new vertex. The zoom function. Here we zoom in and zoom out. Standard tools. As you can see, these work in a step zoom fashion. You can also use the zoom function by holding down mouse button number two and clicking on mouse button number one. Now, if you drag your mouse up and down, you'll zoom in and out. The next function is normal view. Let's activate this function. Now, if I click on this face, for example, I see the view normal to this face. The next function I have is creating multiple views. The next is the Quick View Toolbar. Let's undock it. I hold the Shift key and toggle. Here we have the isometric view, the front view, the back view, the left view, the right view, a top view, the bottom view, and the last one is named views. We're going to discuss this in our next chapter. All right, let's go back to the isometric view and close the quick view toolbar. Next, we're going to look at view mode. Let's undock it. Hold the shift key and toggle. View mode. Here we have a shaded view. As you can see, the edges have disappeared. Next is shaded with edges. And so on. This one here is the wireframe view. The last one is a custom view mode. Click OK. The same function is accessible from view, rendering style. We see here shading, shading with edges, and so on. The last two functions on the toolbar are hide show and swap visible space. Let's activate the hide show function and click on our part. The part disappeared. Now let's swap visible spaces. Here we see our part. The sketch, the default planes. Let's activate Hide Show and click on our part. Let's now swap visible spaces. 
and we're going to expand the specification tree. Here you see sketch one, and the planes are shaded. This is because they are invisible. If I swap visible spaces, I see the sketch and the planes right here. Click on sketch. Now if I swap back, sketch one is unshaded and it appears right here. Okay, let's activate hide show. Click the sketch. Sketch one disappears and it becomes shaded in our specification tree. This concludes our view toolbar tutorial.